taking Rocky down into Stockbridge today. It's a good town for training horses because you've got cars parked on the side of the road and they angle in um, towards the kerb, so that means you very often get people reversing. They can't see because of cars coming up and passing them. So you get the engine starting as the horses go past the cars moving, which is another good thing for them to see. Today we're taking Rocky down into town. He's on one of the main roads going into Andover. So you get lots of traffic from cars, light vans to big articulated lorries and tankers. You can see there's this grain lorry coming past him now. And the traffic's quite fast moving as well, which is another good thing. Because very often when we have cars passing wide and slow, which is what they're told to do, so many times the horse isn't actually frightened of the car or the lorry. In actual fact, as the car overtakes, it brushes against the hedge on the other side of the road. So you get all this scraping sound and twigs breaking and cracking um, as they're trying to get as wide as possible to pass you, and that makes the horse spook. So when we're training horses, we train them to experience both fast and slow moving vehicles. And certainly, in our opinion, we believe it's better for cars to overtake us. You can see the road ahead is clear now, and at this moment in time, if the cars overtook at a normal speed instead of creeping past, they'd actually overtake us quicker, they'd be on with their journey faster, we wouldn't have a large queue of traffic behind us, which means that car drivers or, or other road users are more likely to be tolerant of horses and carriages on the road because we're not causing that much of an obstruction. And that's why we believe in training horses to be safe and confident on the roads. Obviously they're animals, so within that there's some degree of unpredictability. But then parked cars can be unpredictable as well. You can get somebody opening their door as you're going past and you clip the side of their, their door, they step out, there's people who run out from between parked cars. So all those sorts of hazards we've got to contend with. But we believe if we're not as much of a problem on the roads, then other road users are going to be happier seeing us on the roads and therefore are going to be more likely to listen to us when we do have a problem and say, please would you mind just holding on there or please come past. And we can share the roads and make them a better place for everyone. And the same goes for riders as well. It's not just horse-drawn carriages that that applies to. If the horses are trained and they're happy and safe on the roads, other vehicles can pass us, continue on with their journey, and they're not going to be frustrated sitting behind us. Right, go for it. You can see we've been working on Rocky's head carriage. A lovely arch neck. I'm just coming down over all this different coloured surfaces on the road. It's something unusual for him to look at. We like to see that he'll just go straight over it with no hesitation. I also had somebody ask me a question the other day. Apparently they'd heard that it was against the law to drive a horse younger than six on the road. Well, there's a lot of confusion over this. And in actual fact, in the code of practice for horse-drawn vehicles, it states that horses that are used for carrying passengers as a guideline should be at least six years old. The British Driving Society Road Driving Assessment states that horses used for the test should be six years old and have a minimum of, I believe it's six months driving experience. This isn't for any other reason other than to ensure that the horses that they're using for the test are safe and sensible. But we've had horses sent to us at 10 years old and haven't had anything done with them, so when they're broken, the fact that they're older doesn't necessarily mean that they're always going to be more sensible or more experienced. So age is not always a, an indication of how good a horse is in traffic. 90% of the horses displayed on our YouTube films are between three and four years old. And this shows that with the right training, even a young horse can cope with traffic perfectly well. At Horse Drawn Promotions, we're insured for training horses of four years old on the roads. We've also got special provision for training horses of three years old on the roads because we feel it's better for them to be trained in traffic um, during their initial braking. We've brought Rocky down 
into this big roundabout and again this is a lovely thing for training horses they've recently widened the roundabout so we've got you know three or four lanes and we get cars passing on the inside and obviously if you go in the middle lane you can get cars passing both on the inside and on the outside of the horse so it's a lovely thing for training them because a lot of times when a horse is out on the road you only ever get cars overtaking on the right hand side so it's a good thing for them to experience having cars coming up on their inside for instance if you're going past a junction and somebody pulls up to the white line sometimes it can spook a horse so it's one thing we like to do with them is to take them around this roundabout so they've experienced traffic coming up both sides it's also a very good thing to do with horses that are going to be shipped abroad for their driven career you can see here he's working on his head carriage so again he's just being driven on a soft piece of rubber not got a lot of pressure on the reins at all it's just going forward confidently and happily Just bringing him back to a walk now because the traffic lights are red. And it's a good thing to have a horse that's responsive. So by that I mean he'll walk when he's told, he'll stand still when he's told, especially if you're in a busy environment like this with cars either side of you. And it also applies for situations such as going showing. You want to know that your horse will stand still regardless of how many people are moving around past him or the noises coming out of the loudspeakers or other turnouts. So it's a good situation to put them in during training. Well, certainly for, for our training, it's what we like to do with them. To make sure that they're perfectly happy in all sorts of different situations because you never know what they're going to end up doing in, in the future. He might go in the show ring, he might just be a pleasure driving horse, but at least this way he's experienced plenty of different things and it's going to make him a safer and above all a, a more confident and as a result a happier horse in harness. doing quite a lot of road works up this road so you can see we've got the brightly coloured sign on the side of the road, cones laid out at various intervals and he'll just go past them without looking at them, without shying or pulling out into oncoming traffic. We want him just to go past them as if they're not there. Do a loop fletch and take him
you're happy with him? Yep. Okay, mate, good. Then you feel confident to take him home and yep. drive him? Yep. You've got no problems nope. at all? That's nope. Right. Barry's done a brilliant job. Very pleased with what he's, what he's done from yeah. how the horse was, how he is now. It was worth right. waiting that other time, wasn't it, Rob? Yep, definitely. That other year, it made the horse, didn't it? It made the difference, yeah, it yeah. Made the difference yeah. to him, yeah. yeah.